Hello movie lovers, Bob for Bob's movie review here and today I'd like to review for you a movie I just watched called Pups Alone. This one is available now and sent to me for review by Paramount Home Entertainment. If you do get a chance to check this one out, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I'll include more information, including fill links to purchase one, down in the description. So this is, I, I don't know. I don't know who this movie is really aimed for. Uh, it is more of a kid's movie, but I feel like also with just long, long sections that probably no kid is going to find enjoyable. So this movie is kind of has this idea of almost like a Home Alone ripoff, but with dogs. And they go through painstaking detail to kind of set it up in that this guy, his wife died and he's just kind of buried himself in his work. And they were, they were working on some sort of dog collar that reads their thoughts or somehow commu you can communicate with them. They can talk to you and you can understand what they're saying. And he's invented this other stuff and nothing works. And he doesn't really ever like say, hey, I'm gonna invent this and I'm gonna invent it until it works. He's like, I'm gonna invent this and if it doesn't work or it half works, then I'll move on to the next thing. And I was like, why doesn't he just finish something? But uh, so his daughter has kind of felt really abandoned and left out since her mom died. And he's kind of like just escaped into his work to kind of cope with the loss. Now he gets promoted or hired at, at some new business or, or something and they end up having to move and they move in this really nice house. It's this really weird thing where the whole neighborhood is owned by this pet supply business or whatever it was. And so everybody who lives there works for them. And so Dolph Lundgren somehow is involved in this. He is one of the neighbors and he's, he's not necessarily a real nice guy. And he, he's, kind of frustrated because none of his inventions are ever liked or go very far and he wants to take over the business or get promoted or something and so he needs a spectacular invention so he wants to steal this dog collar thing even though it doesn't work at all um, and so they go on this uh, company retreat where they're all going to go skiing and so this is the opportunity to send in these two guys to steal the the plans or the or whatever he has available well, these two guys in home alone you know they were they weren't necessarily real smart but in this movie the two guys are almost more mentally challenged like they went too far and it just it comes off as kind of mean you're like oh these guys you know what is wrong with these guys and, and you know so they they go into the house to try to find it and they like smash the computer and and he's like well why didn't you just steal the computer and they're like oh we didn't think about that later they show the house there's several more computers they didn't even check or anything and uh so they have to go back and the dogs know they're coming back so all the dogs in the neighborhood have to team up to stop them by using all these inventions that were meant for dogs and they try to set up a whole lot of traps and they kind of try to make them similar to Home Alone without 100% ripping them off. Um, and they, they come off as just really, just really dumb. And um, I think kids would enjoy it. Like, I think young children would enjoy the part where the dogs kind of execute all these traps on the burglars. But I would say most of the humor, I don't know. I don't even know if kids would find it funny. It just odd and honestly that goes along for most of the acting and dialogue and interactions they just all feel really odd and even the dogs because this is a movie where the dogs talk and you can hear they're talking it just feels really weird because the dogs are just sitting there panting the whole time very hard like they're in a hundred degree heat they're drooling all over the place they look really bad like they don't want to sit still and somebody's yelling at them not to move and it just feels so awkward <laughs> um and then in the end somehow Dolph Lundgren accidentally fixes the collar no explanation I don't know um and even the characters uh, are played off as just being super dumb and it just <sighs> unfortunately I feel like a lot of this uh just is not great um and, and like I say I feel even for children a lot of it you know there's these huge parts of boring talking that I don't think children are going to be too into. So I, I'm not sure who this demographic really is on this movie because I don't feel like 
it has enough of the dogs to really interest the children. But then even when the dogs are on most of the time, they're just like, oh, I think I smell chili. And what? What? <laughs> I didn't even understand what the dogs were talking about for a, for a lot of it. Uh, so unfortunately, yeah, I wasn't a big fan of this movie. It just really didn't do anything for me at all. It is watchable. Like, I could definitely, if I had to, watch this one again. It's not, like, a terrible, terrible movie. But just a lot of really strange things go on. And, and a, a lot of just weird dialogue and people acting really weird. Like, it's just not how you would imagine people would act naturally in a situation. Um, so, I gave this one a 2 out of 5. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you haven't already subscribed for our videos, check the videos. And I'll see you guys next time.